Well, this time I've had enough. We've come to the parting of the ways. I warned him what's coming, so he knows what's coming to him. What? I said what? What's your considered opinion of Ina Sharples? How do you mean? About the way she's been poking her nose in other people's business. Well, you know... She's been saying some terrible things about Elsie. Well, talk's cheap enough, isn't yes. it? Yes, well, this time she's opened a lying gob too far and she's flaming well going to pay for it. <laughs> but, but for me, he would have parceled all your things up in brown paper and string and he'd be out tramping the streets looking for lodgings. Yes, Mum. Oh. You think it might be better if I did look for lodgings? Oh, don't talk so silly. I'm not talking silly, I'm serious. This what are you going to do back? about it? I don't know, but I'll fix her somehow. Just you wait. Hello then everyone and welcome to the video. My name's Serenity Soul on the Axe and here we are with Coronation Street episode... Is it 10? If it's not 10, I'll put it in the... <laughs> a little thing up here. But I think it's 10, I'm not entirely sure. Now we are off the DVDs. I am using some shows from YouTube. So please look in the description to see which, ch which show I use, which channel. I'm going to credit them. I'm going to put a link to their channel in the description. So please, if you want to see this episode without my prattling on, that's when it will be. I am enjoying this. This will be coming two days a week at some point next year. Well, 2024. So hopefully you're looking forward to that. They will start jumping around a bit soon, I'm afraid. And If I can find the episodes that I cannot find right now, I will use them and react to them. If you've subscri subscribed and followed to me, thank you ever so much. I love you lots for doing so. Thank you for your support. And to my Patreon members, it is you that is bringing the content to me to allow me to bring the content straight back to you. Thank you all ever so much. I love you lots no matter what tier you are. So with that, let's get on with the video. So I apologise about the black bars on this one. I apologise about the picture quality. I've still got it in 1080. I'll be rendering it in 1080 as well. The person will be credited in the description of whose show I used. Your bottom's getting bigger. Oh, excuse me. Well, thanks. Thanks very much. <laughs> That's all I needed. That's made my morning, that has. I'm your best friend, I tell you. Ah, well, I'm my own best friend, and I know. Why don't you go on a diet? Why don't you mind your own business? Oh, I got into you this morning. All I did was pass a remark. Ah, well, you'd be much better keeping remarks like that to yourself. That's always an offensive one. Well done. Oh! Seven one of those days. It's just not my morning. I'm only taking it out on other people. Going into work this morning. Of course I am. What you sitting there for, like a plum? Oh, I could spit in her eye. Who, my dad's girlfriend? Oh, blow her. Ina Sharples, that's whose eye I could spit in. Well, what's she done this time? It's not what she's done, it's what she's been around saying. What? Mm, I'll be quite within the rights of a lambda one. Oh, Mum, stop going on and on and tell me what it is she's saying. Well, look, I go into the pub last night for a quiet drink, and what do I hear? Oh, go on. Er, uh, that old bag sitting there telling all those other old biddies that I've got a fella. I love you. Oh, what do you think? Did I skip one? No, well, you might. So. Thank you for the compliment. But in this case, it so happens that I haven't. Well, you've had them before, haven't you? Oh, that's you all over. You get me to tell you something, you go on and on for me to tell you, and then you can't even be bothered to listen, can you? Oh, she must have got the idea from somewhere. Mm. I know where she got the idea from, all right. Seeing your dad coming in and out of here and put two and two I together. remember that. If it was anybody else, I wouldn't mind. But your dad. As if I'd have anything to do with a thing like that. And what did you say to her? Didn't say anything. I just had to control myself. I wouldn't lower myself. I just walked out. And that's not like you. Mm -hmm. I know. But if I'd have stayed, I'd have said something. Oh, I could better. I could. Nah, I wouldn't worry about it. Nobody takes any notice of what she said. Right, it's all right saying that, but you know what? If that sort of talk gets around, what happens? Did what you are you going to do back? about it? I don't know. But I'll fix her somehow. Yes, just you wait. No violence, please. She's an old lady. She's got senile decay. Well, he's lucky he didn't get his head knocked off. Old gloves. Yeah, some downstairs in my duffel coat pocket. <laughs> Where are your own? Well, I can't find them. Will it be all right if I take them, are yours? Yeah. 
Keep him if you want. Oh, Tom. Oh, what you doing sitting up here? It's freezing. Give you three guesses. Oh, you'll have to go down for breakfast. Dad down there? Yeah. What's the mood he seemed to be in? Mm. Strong sign. Oh, because the protest. David, if you don't put your spurs on, you'll be late. Yeah, all right, I'm coming. What was your band the bomb march like? Oh, it was all right. Don't suppose it'd do much good. Oh. Yeah, it only seems worth all the bother. Yeah. You know, uh, you know we said I'd have to leave home if I went. Oh, who do you think? Spencer Tracy downstairs. If on this one and go back, I apologise if I'm asking questions in this one about the last one or any of them. Need you. Hello. You're doing that on purpose, just to irritate me. Am I? Yes, and you know you are. Look, this is my old house, and I should think I ought to be able to do what I wanted in it. At least I should think so anyway, but oh no. I'm the last person to be taking any notice of. Oh, stop your chunnering. I've got some of the chunner over. Look, I'll put up with a lot, I did, but that lad's gone his length. I told him distinctly what had happened to him if we went to that fool of a march. David, if you don't get a move on, you'll be late. Just come in. And tell Kenneth his breakfast's getting cold. I'm going to say what about Ken. I'm not bothered about him. Right, it'll go a lot colder and all when he hears what I've got to say to him. I know he's done wrong. Done wrong? He deliberately defied me. But he was only sticking up for what he thought was right. But that's got nothing to do with it. It's the principle of the thing that's done me. I, I told him straight, but oh, no, no, he can't listen to anybody. He must have his own sweet way. Well, this time I've had enough. We've come to the parting of the ways. I warned him what's coming, so he knows what's coming to him. What? I said what? I'm just off. Ta-ra. What? Oh, ta-ra, love. Oh, so long, Dad. So long, lad. You know I think the world of you, don't you? You know that. And I wouldn't go against you for a minute if I thought you was right, but I'm, I'm not mixed up. I don't know who's to blame. He shouldn't have defied you. I do mm, know thanks. that. Thanks. But... I'm glad you can see something my way. But? But all I want to say is... Well, go on, say it. Oh, you wouldn't turn him out. Will you give me another cup of tea? Oh, Frank, you couldn't. It'd be wicked. Do you want to talk? Yeah, this is uh, going to be uncomfortable. No, thanks. Well, sit down while I get your egg. And don't blame me if it's gone hard. Money, there. Say good morning. Well, wow. as said anything to you. <laughs> I didn't give a chance. I shut her up before she got going. <laughs> How did you manage that? Told her best footer was up three eighths. <laughs> that woman's in league. It's with his before, She's just the same. So well, I had my bit of trouble and got my name in the paper. Might be able to manage The way she this. carried on, you'd have thought I'd have murdered a newborn baby. Oh, good morning, Mr. Tatlow. Good morning, Florian. Oh, before I forget, Harry, you it was asking for you earlier on. I didn't want to knock in case. Uh, he was still in bed. Asking for me, was he? Yeah. Right, well, I'll call in and see him on my way back. Well, I'll well, see you. How are you? Oh, don't ask. I should be here till dinner time. one of those Mr. days, Mr. Tatlock, mate. what's your considered opinion of Ina Sharples? How do you mean? About the way she's been poking her nose in other people's business. Well, you know... She's been what, saying some what? terrible things about Elsie. Well, talk's cheap enough, isn't yes. it? Yes. Well, this time she's opened a lying gob too far and she's flaming well going to pay for it. <laughs> So they're just going to have a slanging match in the Rovers. Now, I suppose our Dennis wants his breakfast. Oh, no. You got a fag? Yeah. Cigarette, Amanda, can you give us a light? Would you like me to smoke it for you, too? <laughs> Please don't smoke it, does your lungs in. Yeah. Well, don't look at me for sympathy. Almost I expect that's a pretty mind. expensive headache. Suppose I can have headache without it being a hangover. Suppose it's just possible. Well, the salts are in the cupboard if you want them. We had a busy time last night. What do you do at that place? Take courts, help out behind bar anything. I've even announced the cabaret. 
What a tale our cat's got. Don't you believe me? Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, it's cabaret time at the Orinoco, and once again we present a very, very lovely cabaret for your entertainment. Beginning with that sensational little lady, thrice banned in Birmingham, Esther Lita Moore. Yep. This is a daring, artistic, continental act. So if you're at all narrow-minded, close one eye, but be sure to keep the other one well and truly open. So let's have a big hand for Esther Lita Moore. It was quite good, actually. She did. A ballet dance in a bikini. Anybody could do that. We have oh. to let her do it or else she wouldn't do her seven veils later on. Well, that's different. I think that sort of thing's disgusting. Oh, Murphy. It wouldn't catch me doing that for anything. Chance would be a fine thing. That's your sister. This, whatever her name is, the only thing there is to the cabaret. No, there's a fella who sings This Is My Mother's Day. What, every night? How much does he get for doing that? Nothing. He's by me. He comes along for the ride. <laughs> when are you going back? Why? Just wondered. Why? I can wonder if I want to, can't I? It's a free country. And stop saying why. Come to that, are you ever going back? Of course I am. Just so long as we know. Know what? Just thought you must have left him again, that's all. Well, you thought wrong. I did I? Yes, you did. Can't see as I blame you. I mean, it, it can't be easy having to put up with that all the time. When you say that, do you mean Ivan? Who do you think I mean? Oh, you've got the nerve well, to sit gonna there and say, he heard you talking to me like this, he'd knock you right into the middle of next week. Hey, man, who else? You've got a very short memory, haven't you? If it hadn't been for me, you'd be in the infirmary by now. And you've got a very convenient imagination. Taking coats in a scruffy club that's just about the size of you, that's all you're fit for. And what does he do that's a very special... He's a proper man, that's all, but that's something you wouldn't understand. I love him, she said. Yes, I feel sorry for you, because that's something else you wouldn't understand. It's just beyond you. If do you know why? You're nothing, nothing at all. If you're all that struck in him, I wonder you're not a bit more anxious to get back. You know, you might not realise this, but you've just done me a good turn this morning. Because you show me just how much he's worth. Ta-ra, then. And give us that fag back. <laughs> you've skinned me lip. It serves you right. Ta-ra. How, how the hell did you skin his lip? Must have been so dry to stick to the filter. Mm. Uh, I didn't think they were worth much, but on this bloke said he had them, and he hadn't got the use for them, I remember, too. Well, very nice of you to think of me, Harriet. And you know, you can never tell. There's lots of interesting coins in cigar boxes up and down the country. Oh, we're not in that one, eh? No, but uh, that doesn't lessen the thought, lad. Yeah, that reminds me. I thought of buying you a drink at New Year, but I haven't seen you till now. What do you have it? Well, I wouldn't say no to a drop of sherry wine. I don't. Anything, have you got a sherry, please, though? I've never had a sherry you know? wine. I haven't been getting out much lately, with the weather being what it is. Oh, I can't say I blame you. Yeah, it's sherry. Thank you. Oh, good old and happy new year. So is it just sherry? Not sherry wine? Bye. Beer, that's nice and warming. Ah, it is, isn't it? I prefer beer myself, though. Oh, dear. You spend a lot of time in here. Oh, don't get me wrong, Dad. I only come in here for the company. There's not much to do, you know, when you're on your own. and. Whippets don't take up all that much time. Oh, I can well understand that. And I don't mind telling you that if Mrs. Tatlock hadn't gone so late in life, I should have seriously thought about getting wed again. Get away. Yeah. Well, you never thought about it, lad. Oh, I often. But it's never got past that. Oh, that little lass of yours, I thought you might have had a try. Aye, well, six of one, half a dozen of the other. Oh, it's the copper. Well, it's one thing giving her another Taking mother. Another, and another thing getting her to take to her, you know. Oh. Kids are difficult. She's no exception. I reckon I'll wait a year or two and let her straighten herself out. Yeah. Happen you wise, lad. Happen you wise. I'll tell you one thing. What? There's three women I take out every night anyway. Three? I don't believe you. That's right. I'll prove it. Pretty hell down that, Albert. You might want a jug. Yeah, real flighty pieces. <laughs> oh, you're a rubber, Larry. <laughs> you're a real rumman. <laughs> if you pick it, it'll never get better. Oh, where is she? Shout out. Anybody in? Shit, I'm worried this is going to put him off. What, just one pimple? Are they the ones who were scabbing on when what's the name died? Well, you just have to turn it into a beauty spot with your eyebrow pencil. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know there was anybody in. Oh, a potted meat balm cake and a cream on. Same for me, please. Sorry, the balm cakes aren't ready yet. Oh, well, how long will they be? Well, I've only just to put the meat in. Oh, well, wait. Oh, I'll take my cream on to be going on with them. 
Don't eat that for dessert, love. Yeah. I'll it's got a scarter. All oh, right, Tom. I don't know. Sorry to keep you waiting, but I'm a bit down this morning. Oh, that's all right. Oh, I don't know how you can. It'd knock me sick. Smashing. Do you want a bow? Mm. Not before I potted me butty, Glynis. <laughs> don't worry me. Hey, have you heard about Christine Ardman? No, why, what's happened to her? So they just there to gossip. Are we going to pay out on her mother's insurance policy? Mm, I thought something were up. I saw a face this morning. It were all blotchy as though she'd been crying. Don't talk to me about blotchy faces. I've told you, Sheila, I keep on telling you. You'll have to lay off them licorice all sorts for a bit. I'm not kidding if she buys them in bulk by the pound. Well, anyway, tonight I'm going to stick a dirty big plaster on and pretend I've caught myself. Uh -huh. Yeah. Why? Something else. You gonna tell us what it is, love? Everyone's having one of those days. Are you sleeping there tonight, Ken? Hold the table. Oh, you're Talk. Hi. Thank you. Hi. Did you get a kick out of that? Hi. Messing about with those things. Oh, that was full of timing. Well, Ken. What? I'm going out tonight. Yeah, why? Are you coming oh, back I'm in tonight? Okay, it doesn't matter. But are you wearing your brown suede? <laughs> why don't you buy yourself a pair? Are you kidding? All right, you can borrow them. But look after them. No football in them. Yeah, football does not form part of my plans for tonight. Mate. Oh, where are you going? The pally. Oh, don't say you go to that dump. It's not a dump. It's the greatest. Soft lights, hot music and beautiful women. <laughs> Come off it, I've been. <laughs> well, you haven't been since it was done up. You ought to see it. Smashing new coffee bar, old glass it is. Dead comfortable settees. And a Cupid's corner. What's that? Oh, man, you have Love lived. Seat. You know, it's a sort of alcove with settees and things. Boy meets girl and all that jazz. Do you go in there? Yeah, why not? Oh, you won't let on to mum, will you? <sighs> Who are you taking? I'm not taking anybody. I might meet somebody there. Who? Oh. Girl from the drawing office. Angela Brownbill. Angela Brownbill? Oh, is that the fat girl from the newsagents on Rosman Street? Ken! She's not fat. Well, don't let her walk on my shoes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I tell you, she's not fat. She's all right. Anyway, it's not as if I was going out with her. She just said she'd be going, that's all. Well, don't you worry. Got me eye on something better than that. Oh, come on, Casanova. Tell Big Brother. <laughs> well, what's the same thing like, No so. comment. We're just good friends. <laughs> Anyway, I'm not the Casanova at our place. One of our chaps has just moved into a flat by himself. <laughs> Says living at home cramps his style. How much does it cost him? I don't know. It can't be much. He's only on about eight quid a week. Well, you can get the lock off that pair of you. I want to set the table for your dad. Oh, ma'am. Never mind, oh, ma'am. I don't care where you put it, just get it off that table. And I don't want all that junk under my feet. Take it upstairs. Junk? It's books. You know, education. Oh, uh, what are them shoes? Under the bed. But remember what I said. Look after them or you won't borrow them again. Uh, not to worry. What are you doing? Getting my things together. What things? Books for next term. Oh. Oh, is that the paper there? Yes. Have a look, please. And you can count yourself a very lucky boy. Oh, in what way? That you've got such a decent father. Not so as you'd notice. Oh, sometimes you are aggravating. Well, I'd just like to know what he's done that's made him decent all of a sudden. Well, when you were at the library this morning, I had a bit of a talk to him. Oh? Well, will you listen when I'm talking to you? 
You can listen to me. He's agreed to forgive and forget. So what? You heard. <laughs> And what's so funny, may I ask? Oh, it's just that expression, forgive and forget. I've never actually heard anyone say it before. Oh, you think you're very clever, don't you, Kenneth? Nobody knows anything but Kenneth Bowell. Well, oh, let me tell you, but but for me, he would have parceled all your things up in brown paper and string, and he'd be out tramping the streets looking for lodgings. Yes? Mom. What? Do you think it might be better if I did look for lodgings? Oh, don't talk so silly. I'm not talking silly, I'm serious. Well, you can just stop it, then. I never heard such nonsense in all my life. You can't put it off like that. No, perhaps I can't. But I can make you see a bit of sense. How are you going to look after yourself? Just answer me that. I've seen some of those young fellows. Silly young fools who think they know everything. And half of them don't get a decent meal from one week's end to another. And then I suppose you'll do your own washing and ironing, too. And wonder why you haven't any time left for studying. The trouble with you is, Kenneth, it's, it's you don't know how long it takes to do the ordinary things before you start studying for a degree. Well, as long as you're living here, you don't have to worry. That's my job. I know all this, but... Well, there are dozens of chaps who live away from home, and I don't mean in Hall, either. There are three I could share a flat with tomorrow. Wouldn't cost much, it'd help them, and... As for the work, well, we'd manage. she would manage. If you hadn't got an home Something of your own, I decent. could understand this. But you have. What do you think you're doing here? Just managing? Yes, I do. You know what I am in this house? It's a bloody good excuse for a row. Don't ever let me hear you use language like that again. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, it's don't just... blame your dad, love. He's got a lot to put up with, a lot you don't what know. Hopefully it fixes about. itself at next scene. It's up to you to understand him. So let's have no more about leaving home. All right. Promise? <laughs> Promise. <laughs> um... Do you think fixed? Hopefully. Does it make sense to you? Hmm, I think so. Well, explain it to me then, will you? Well, what it really amounts to is this. You lived here with your mother for more than six months before she passed away, so the tenancy automatically passes to you. But the landlord has the right to increase the rent under the limits of the Rent Act. It's all French to me. Kind of. What it really means Most is they want nine shillings a week more rent off you. Oh. Oh, nine shillings isn't all that much. No, I don't suppose it is. I suppose I'll be able to manage it. Well, it's just that everything's cropped up at once, Esther. One thing on top of another. Have they sorted out that insurance business yet? No. Oh, well, they'll be bound to soon. Soon? They don't seem to stop to think you might need the money. What do you no, need no, to take pay for the funeral? Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, Concept is upstairs getting ready now. I've let her use our bedroom. It's got the triple mirror. I did offer to lend her one of my gowns for this dance. It's a very lovely model. But she thought it was a bit formal for the occasion. I got it for a very big do I went to with my husband. We don't go out much, you know, but when we do... She's got I the like posh voice now. ...to be just right. <laughs> I used to like a nice dance. Oh, my idea of ever is doing a foxtrot on a French chalked floor, knowing I look right. <laughs> hey, Annie. What is it? Uh, come through to public and I'll show you. Oh, eh, King Dick. You do look smart, Harry. It's not even in dress for the men, then. No, one or two might, that's all. Mm. I must say I do like to see a man in a dinner suit myself. I think it adds tone. Yeah, not all going to turn it to the robes in a dinner suit. Aye, it's aye. a fucking concept, huh? Well, you say well, that? You, you do look a picture. It's a bit bare. I feel as if I've just stepped out of a bath. Will I do? I've got something plainer if you think this is too much. <laughs> you look a treat. I, I mean, I, I wouldn't want to be showing you up. No, don't worry about that. I, I'd never have recognised you. Oh, well, there's a backhanded one if you like. <laughs> <laughs> do you fancy a gin and okay, If you don't mind, Jack, we're in a bit of order. Late as it is, really. Get all this. Oh. Stand still, Conceptor. <laughs> Now, you've no need to sniff. This is the real thing. Give us your wrists. 
right. Now, just a dab behind your knees and you'll be all... No, she lost the posh accent. Behind me where? Put that round the shoulder. Is there any use posh accent from speech is better than somebody? Mrs Walker, your mink marmot. You look like a queen. Oh, well, not the waterworks here. Come on, the taxis, wait. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And just enjoy yourself. Right, well, See you doing now. Right. Good night, oh, oh, yeah. Hey, have you seen tonight's paper? No. <laughs> well, you maybe don't look like Lord and Lady Uncum Duncan, but you've got manners like pigs. Decent to get. Yes, love? Have you any salted peanuts? Salted peanuts? Oh, so. It's a pub, they should have. Hey. Have you seen it? What? Tonight's paper? Yes. What do you think about it? Oh, is there going to be another war or summit? Uh, I only read the memorial. Oh, well, I'll read you something <laughs> out of tonight's personal column. Listen to this. I, Mrs. Elsie Tanner, give due warning that I will, from this day onwards, take legal action against anyone uttering slanderous statements against me good name. Really? Now, whatever can people have been saying about the poor soul? <laughs> well, I am so. I'm sorry about the D sync issues there. I'm sorry about the black bars. Unfortunately, I'm having to do these off YouTube as well as the DVDs. So it'll flip now between black bars, full screen, colour, not colour. <laughs> So please accept my apologies about this. Also, if you've got any episodes that I haven't got, if I skip episodes and you've got them, let me know. I will come back to them, react to them, and stick them in the playlist. If, say I've reacted to episode 100, I haven't got episode 95 to 99, I shall release them. I won't do them in the monthly thing. I will release them as soon as I can. I might even put them together as a, like, two or three episodes in one, like an omnibus, maybe two, if you have two episodes at that week. So yes, I will do that. I'm trying not to skip episodes, but unfortunately, I can only get what's uploaded now because the DVDs only have 10 per decade. That's not enough. <laughs> I want to get as many out here as possible. Yeah, so I have to apologise about that. I have reacted to this one before the last one. <laughs> I was a bit lost off where we were talking about the, the, the valley, the protest, stuff like that. So I'm going to go back and react to the last one. <laughs> I am going to try to do better in future. It's just really, really hard now. I thought I'd actually seen the, this one, the, the next one, what I'm going to react to, which is the last one. But I hadn't, so <laughs> it's going to get very, very confusing for me now, I can tell you that. I'm enjoying this, I want to keep it coming. This will go to two nights a week from 2024, unless it is 2024. I don't know what part of 2024 yet, I am releasing them gradually, the Prisoner first. It will be throughout 2024 if it goes, possibly every three months or something. Just so I can get a lot in front of content. But I'm sorry that some of these videos are in 4.3, some will be stretched, some will be in SD, upscaled to HD, some will have desync issues like this one. I am so sorry about that, I really am. But every single show I use, sorry, I've tried to say this 10 times, will have the link in the description. So if you want to see the show without me in it, check it out down below and it'll be there for you. I just hope they don't put a strike to me because I don't believe... Um, the action channel should give strikes at all. So, and they didn't really transform it as well. Let's put the episode up. So hopefully, yes, I can get through with this. So with that, I want to thank you all for watching. If I could please ask you to like, comment and subscri subscribe, I would really appreciate it. And a follow, I would appreciate that too. Some of my anxieties are playing up a bit today. I don't know why. That's why I'm stumbling a bit on my words. That's why you've been seeing cuts like like that. 
<laughs> if you have already subscribed and followed, thank you very much. I, l I love you lots for your support, I really do. And to my Patreon members, it is you that is bringing the content to me to allow me to bring the content straight back to you. Thank you all ever so much. I love you lots for your support as well. Thank you ever so much. So with that, I shall sign out and get on with the next one. So I hope to see you there. Goodbye. <laughs>